What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be the spoiler free review for Damien Leon's Terrifier 2, the long awaited sequel to Terrifier. Now it's written and directed by Damien Leon. Leon. Once again, it stars Felissa Rose, David Howard Thorne back as Art the Clown, Lauren Lavera, uh, Samantha Sc Scafidi, and we have Elliot, Elliot Ful Fulham. Tamara Glenn or Tamara Glenn who we know is in Halloween 5 and some other individuals so this movie is revolving around Art the Clown who after being resurrected by a sinister entity he returns to Miles County where he must hunt down and destroy a teenage girl and her brother on Halloween night as the body count rises the siblings fight to stay alive while uncovering the true nature of art's evil intent now i got to see this courtesy of the fantastic fest coverage i'm doing it remotely but terrify 2 remains the gruesome gory unsettling qualities of that original and amplifies them by blending it with an actually engaging story that provides you with a pair of siblings to root for against Art the Clown. I said before I felt the original film gave David Howard Thorne a playground to play in and everything around him was just lacking like nobody else around him was playing at the same level he was playing at. Now though his unhinged performance is propelled thanks to a final girl that is easy to get behind since the story allows time for the viewer to grow connected to her. This of course is the character of Sienna who is portrayed brilliantly by lauren lavera i hope to see more of her in horror movies before i get to her i want to compliment the sound design of the film nearly every other kill will have you wincing or cringing in all the right all the right ways because of the sound design the bones crunching the scalps being pulled back all of it will be felt in some way when you watch the practical effects make it all that more better i truly think that by having a family dynamic drama at the center of this it also just enhances the gore because it's building up to that epic final battle that we know is going to happen as you knew as you tend to get in most horror movies so because you're not wanting this to happen to the characters that you're growing connected to over the course of that first hour there's one kill sequence in particular that reminded me a lot of olivia's death in screen four and all the kill sequences are basically gory highlight reels of carnage that always want to outdo the one that came before it i don't think this sequel has the haunting imagery that terrifier offered the original but the visuals are still going to have you like what the f did i just watch now again this film has a lot more depth depth to it so i will say uh, while there is still exaggerated senseless over the top gore because we spend time with Sienna and her brother Jonathan played by Elliot Fulham there's this balance between gore and actual storytelling as well thanks to that Jonathan is in the true crime and Sienna thinks it's a horrible idea for him to go around dressed as Art the Clown since it might be insensitive to those victims or relatives of the victims from the last year prior uh, Sienna is our final girl whose progression in the film felt similarly kind of like on par or very similar reminiscent of sarah's in the descent neil marshall's the descent so my descent fans you'll enjoy that little nugget i just threw out there uh this character she's she's a badass by the time the movie comes to a conclusion she starts again as this reserved teen then slowly evolves and follows the standard final girl route that just built to this gruesome action-packed finale with david howard thorne both of these two are excellent in their roles and i'm just glad thornton was able to be given a wonderful co-star to bounce bounce off of here there are plot threads that don't seem to be fully developed perhaps intentionally in case of a third film the supernatural crumbs that you see in the original they're highlighted more profoundly here this time with the help of a very terrifying child performance and i don't i don't want to go into too many uh details about that it's just really unsettling what that young actress was doing in her role i'll say I also was shocked that this film didn't dive deeper into the discussion of true crime. So while it raised a lot of other questions about art's lore, because it does dive deeper into that, it does drop the ball a bit when it comes to this social commentary aspect of true crime, because it didn't dive that deep into the way I thought it was going to. That's it's such something that's so timely, especially when considering all the reactions I'm seeing to the Dahmer show. So I was hoping that they would dive deeper into what people's thoughts are on that we get like a, a dinner table sequence about it but that's it i didn't we didn't get much else from that the film's biggest detraction honestly is the runtime because i can't even sit here and tell you that this is a movie that needed to be nearly two hours and 30 minutes with so much that could have been trimmed 
one particular dream sequence at the start went on for far too long and the finale at the end was starting to grow tiresome until it, it basically seemed to know it was wearing you out and then it just went off so the pacing wasn't always a strength but the vast majority is still an engaging slasher film that felt like a love letter to 80s horror specifically dream warriors with a dash of those rob zombie halloween remakes from the 2000s now the opening credits immediately made me think of dream warriors and then there's just several other instances throughout the runtime where i'm like yeah that's a th that's a dream warriors nod so i get where people are like this is like jammed with nightmare and elm street references or nods so the performances again were terrific with Lavera and Thorne absolutely stealing the show. Dame Leon, he went above and beyond here with this highly entertaining return of Art the Clown. And I'm just glad that Art came back. I think that this will go over well with many slasher fans when it releases this week. Art the Clown already was considered a great slasher villain and Terrified 2 just did nothing but aid him in earning that title even further. The narrative structure worked overall and does what I hoped it would. Art's insane antics are teased throughout the first hour, but a lot of that first hour is just letting you get connected to the characters, seeing Art stalk people, make them uncomfortable. Uh, the tension is always present. Thorne's performance is still managing to make you uncomfortable every time Art is on screen and I again just have to commend the guy for his ability to say so much while literally having absolutely nothing to other utter not not one bit of dialogue my favorite shot from the film was definitely the alley sequence or the shot of him in the alley carrying his trash bag with that with his silhouette being highlighted in the blue lighting terrifier 2 i will say is that rare sequel that definitely surpasses its original uh, hats off to everyone involved stick around after the credits as well i will say that this is probably going to be one of those slasher movies that you will want to revisit more than once and again i will say this it is so amazing how much you can accomplish when you don't even have that big of a budget compared to some of the other modern horror movies we get to see in theaters these days with so much money that they have under their belt it's so nice to see somebody accomplish so much with not something that's on par with the budget that we know we get traditionally in a lot of other big blockbuster movies this is a very well done slasher film that yes might seem a little senseless and still with the gore but it at least gives you an engaging story this time around so it's a vast improvement i'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video.